Hi, and welcome to Combative Conditioning, Series 1, Functional Design. My name is Tom Overhue, and with me are conditioning coaches Dewey Nielsen and Tony Lelak. Now we're moving into the core section of our workout, concentrating on stabilization from the hips to the head. I have Cruz with me here who's going to demonstrate a prone hip lift. He's going to begin lying on the floor, drawing his belly button towards his spine and flexing his glutes. He's going to raise up to a flat back, looking straight down at the floor. He's going to repeat this motion, and as he gets to the top, he's going to hold anywhere from three to five seconds. Bail points we want to look out for is an arch in the low back, The head looks up and the hands rotate inward. Now notice Cruz doing it with good technique. Now we're moving into a bridge with emphasis on the glutes and hip stabilization. In the middle we have Cruz doing the base of this exercise. And in the back, Joy's performing a variation of this exercise using the stability ball. Up front we have Andy doing a progression of the exercise by doing it on one leg. If you choose to do it on one leg, watch for the hips shifting side to side. In Jiu Jitsu, we require a lot of strength in the glutes and hamstrings in order to climb up somebody's body, in order to do an arm bar or a triangle. So this is a great drill for that. This unsupported pressing exercise is known as a two stability ball push up. Here, Andy's going to keep his back flat, his abs are in and his glutes are tight, and his eyes are looking to the floor, neutral spine. He's going to go three count down, one, two, three, hold it for two, one, two, and then up. The bail points we need to be concerned about is the head dropping or looking up the shoulders rounding or elevating to the ears, or the lower back arching. Let's watch now as Andy performs with great technique the two stability ball push-up. Great job. Now we're moving into a leg exercise with multi-planar lunges. Here the emphasis is on strength and coordination in all three planes of motion. A forward motion, a lateral motion, and a rotational motion. In the middle we have Armand just engaging his shoulder blades a little bit more for a variation. And up front we have Tom using some dumbbells just to add a little added resistance. Kendra is performing this with just her hands on her hips. Now in mixed martial arts we're always moving in these three planes of motion, especially on takedowns. You'll notice as you take somebody down, you're going with a forward strength and then to knock them over you got to laterally move and rotate to finish the takedown.
Now we are going to perform the leg exercise, the rotational split jump. Andy's going to start in the lunge position, keeping his chest up and shoulders back. He's now going to jump, switching feet and rotating the medicine ball. The bail points that we need to watch out for are his knees caving in when landing, his low back arching, and his shoulders rounding forward and chest dropping. Now let's watch Andy perform this exercise in real time with great technique. Great job. Now we're going into a power pulling movement with the power recline pull up. Remember on this you're trying to get slack out of the line. Again in Jiu Jitsu, grappling and wrestling we always require high amounts of pulling muscles. Hanging Russian Twist. This exercise is a high demand rotational abdominal core exercise. Fantastic for great hip movement and hip mobility.